You know, I honestly don't know what to say in these cold opens anymore. Hey everyone, welcome to Princess Gay, I'm your host Connie, and today we are here with Big City Greens, episode 17, 17, 17, 17, yeah, I was right, <laughs> uh, 17, um, and yeah, it's just, it's hard to figure out what to say in the cold opens for a series like this. It's like, I think multiple times now I've said, like, a variation of, like, oh, what are they going to get into today? And it's just, like, <laughs> it feels very repetitive. And, like, with a lot of other shows, like, especially shows that have an ongoing narrative, I'm able to figure something out better because it's based on what's been happening. But with this, it's like, I guess I could reference what happened last time, but that's not going to be relevant to this episode. So, I don't know. Um, also, just to note, at the start, if um, you notice the lighting is different and everything, it's because it is pretty dark outside. Um, in, in fact, it's getting really stormy, and I, I don't know if you're going to be able to hear like the thunder and stuff over the recording but just letting you know in case that is the case so i have my ring light going uh just to shed some light on this reaction uh, because let me show you what it would look like with this off look how dark it is look how much of a difference that makes it is and, and it's pretty dark in here and i have a light over here on you can kind of see a light coming from this uh corner here um, but it, it, the lamp doesn't really give a huge amount of light, if I'm being honest. And even if I turned on other lights, I, there's a lamp over here. I'm sure you guys have noticed in various recordings, but this thing, like, the, the plug doesn't work anymore. It, I think it got, like, broken or something, but uh, there's also just nowhere to plug it in over there, so. It's just there for aesthetic. <laughs> but, yeah, it's, it, it's like... At this point, I basically have to use the string light, or it's just excessively dark. So, turn that back on. So yeah, it 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 helps. It's it's not the most natural looking lighting or anything, but it's what we've got. Don't really have much room to complain. Don't really have much choice. Um. So, yeah. As always, though. In terms of the episodes, no clue what's going to happen. No clue where this is going to go. Um, like I said, uh, though, I, I think last time, um, with the episode count being 30 for this season, I'm thinking that we'll probably take another break around the 20 mark. Because we took our first break, uh, I believe, right after episode 9. And so 20 will be like about 10 episodes uh, into this and then we'll have about 10 more to go and my camera died lovely <laughs> and of course it died on that face because of course it did there we go um hopefully this doesn't keep happening i really really don't want to deal with this today with everything else <laughs> sorry about that um but yeah it's like there was just where was i i, I lost track um but yeah it, with um 10 episodes uh like 11 episodes or so since we started back up and then we'll have like 10 to go I, I think that'll be a good point to put it on hold, to, to just pause it for a minute, take a little break, and come back to it. And hopefully it won't be as long of a break, but you never know. Um, so yeah, that that's kind of my goal right now. So we're, we're 17 this week, and we're probably just, at this point, continuing with one each week. Unless we end up doing 19 and 20 together, I don't know. We'll, we'll see, we'll see. Um, it, it just kind of like take it as it comes basis. So whatever we end up getting to is what we end up getting to. 
Ooh. Ooh, excuse me. Um, all of that being said, though, I think we're just going to get into this. I, I, I think we're not going to waste any more time because I don't really have much of anything else to say. <laughs> so we're just going to get into this reaction and hope for the best with this episode of Big City Greens. Cutting in here real quick to remind you that we have a lot of great content to check out on the channel. Between Monday and Friday, we have a plethora of awesome series reactions with two on Friday. We also have movie reactions every Saturday and Sunday, as well as Let's Plays every day of the week. We switch on and off every day between Horizon and Baldur's Gate 3 and have Anno Mutationum on Saturdays. Please don't forget to click the link in the description below to follow it to today's reaction. We redirect everything just due to copyright. And also, don't forget to like and subscribe to the video and the channel, respectively. And I hope you have a great time with today's reaction. And we are back, and we'll begin with spoilers in 3, 2, 1, now. So, this is one of those rare episodes of the show that I just don't really care for that much. Um, I wouldn't call it terrible or anything like that, um, but I wouldn't really call it that good either. Both segments of this episode were just kind of mediocre to me. Um, let, let's talk about them. So the first segment, uh, Tilly Tour, I think it was called, all about uh, Tilly showing Grandma Alice around Big City, showing her her favorite spots, and what makes the city cool for her. Meanwhile, the boys try to fix uh, the bathroom up, uh, end up flooding it, and have to just put it back into its normal state before Grandma Alice gets home. The B-plot is just entirely boring. I do not give a shit about it. Um, with them trying to fix up the bathroom and then flooding it and then having to put it back, it's like, I just didn't care. I wish less of the episode were dedicated to it, honestly. But the A-plot at the same time, it's like, I don't necessarily want to see more of that either. It's just like, I, I just didn't really care. None of the sights that they saw were particularly interesting to me. Um, nothing about it, like, really spoke to me as anything special. It's like, okay, it's kind of nice seeing Tilly and Grandma Alice uh, specifically get along and, you know, bond a little more and everything. That's cool. But that's about all the episode or the segment had going for it. Otherwise, it was just really fucking boring. And then the second segment is just so fucking generic, it's not funny. It's like, y you've absolutely seen this kind of thing before. The entire thing of like, oh, the opposite types of families come together and they get arguing and have to be reminded in the end by their kids that even though they're so different, they can still get along because friendship saves the day or some shit like that. Like, listen, I'm all for the uh, friendship is magic kind of uh, lessons and everything. But it's like, this was so heavy-handed and so um, just uninspired in its presentation. It, it was There was nothing special about it. It was such a generic way to, to share this message that nothing about it felt like unique to this series. And, and if you're going to have a, a very generic message like that, you have to make it feel unique to your series. You have to make it feel like it's something special and new. This didn't do that. Y you know what this reminds me of? And, and it's not because of like the subject matter itself, but just you know taking a message and practically doing nothing new with it. Reminds me of the body swap episode of Owl House, which I stand by is the worst episode of that series. And I think the only episode that I can outright say I don't like, like pretty much at all. The body swap episode of Owl House does nothing new with the concept. It does nothing special with it. It's boring. It, it, it does the exact same message that body swap episodes always do. It's just, it's a waste of time. It's not particularly funny. It's not particularly interesting. 
it, it's, it just pales in comparison to everything else that show does. And I adore The Owl House. It's one of my favorite shows. But that episode is just not good. And this, ep and this segment, uh, the second segment here, reminds me of that. It, it takes an old, tired concept and does nothing new with it. Does nothing to freshen it up or make it unique or make it, like, stand out for this series. And it's not particularly entertaining or fun to watch or interesting or anything. It's, it feels like a waste of time. It feels boring. It's not like inherently terrible or anything. But it's just so bland and unentertaining to watch. For lack of a better way of, that I can think of putting it at the moment. Um, that it's... It's just... I, I don't care. I, I don't want to watch it. I, I don't care. The entire time I'm sitting there, I'm just super bored because it's just, it's so generic. It, it's just... I, I, I just didn't get it. I, I th This episode, both segments, I just, I didn't get it. I, I felt like this was probably one of if not the weakest episode of this series so far and it really sucks because i do really enjoy this series like a lot but this episode was absolutely not it i i'm just i'm i'm just disappointed honestly um yeah, I, I don't really even have anything else to say about it. Because it's like, what else is there to say about an episode like this? There's just nothing more I can really talk about. Because it didn't give me anything more to talk about. <sighs> Tell me in the comments below what you thought of this episode. Maybe you found more to enjoy in it than I did, but... For now, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Connie and I'm signing off. See y'all next time.